Hi guys, Wing Merchant Gaming here, and today we're going to be reviewing Awesome Noughts Assemble for the PlayStation 4. Now this game came out just last week, and um, it's a multiplayer online battle arena. Now I'm currently in the practice mode just to show you what it's all about. Um, but once you get online, it's a lot more challenging and a lot more vigorous, and uh, certainly more competitive. So basically, uh, the game revolves around the fact that there's two teams. One's red, one's blue, sometimes the colours alternate, uh, but that's basically it. You start off in a spaceship, you come down to the uh, ground that you're on now, and you end up, uh, well, being uh, some kind of character, which you do choose beforehand. Now, each character has its own upgrades and abilities you can get from the in-game shop, and uh, you can only purchase these with these uh, square space coins that you find out throughout the map. As you destroy characters, you'll get more space coins, and uh, they vary from silver to gold. So just before we go into the, uh, well, just before we we enter the match, there is actually a character roster list, and uh, there's plenty of different characters to choose from, each with their own abilities, unique voices, etc. And uh, as you level up, you'll also gain access to more characters. As you can see, your health isn't that slow, and uh, the game is very, very challenging and tough. But it's fun, because it keeps you wanting to go back for more. It's good. So you can see at the bottom of the screen, there's the user interface, you've got your, your uh, in the center there you've got a hub, and if you upgrade your cabin, which I'm going to do now, you can see that I've just put uh, two more powers in his slots, and these powers can be used using the triangle square, X, and circle buttons. Now that's pretty much it, the game itself doesn't really take advantage of the controller's extra features, you don't use a touch screen, you don't use the speaker in the middle, which I think is kind of a shame really, because I quite like it when games do that, you know, in the second sun, put that in there, and uh, a fair few other games have put that in as well, which I think is really, really cool, because it uh, makes the places before it stand out. As you can see, once you get to their base, you've got uh, these turrets which you have to destroy. And once you destroy these turrets, you'll get to eventually their core. And once you're their core, shit, our core, I've died. Once you get to their core, the objective is your team gets to their core, rushes their core, and destroys the core, and then that's it. The match is, is over once that's happened. But it does take a lot of effort and a lot of time to get through the turrets, as well as the enemy players. Now this game doesn't have any graphical problems. I haven't noticed any graphical problems, I haven't noticed any glitches, screen tearing issues. And it's a 2D platformer, so it should work smoothly on the PlayStation 4. Overall, Smash awesome Assembly was quite a fun quite a fun experience. It'll cost you around about £12 for the, uh, for the PlayStation 4 store. It costs around about £12, I think, if you're a PS Plus member. I think if you're not a PS Plus member, it does cost a little bit more, but it is definitely worth the price. Though. It'll keep you going for hours, and there's loads and loads of stuff in there. And loads of stuff to see. Through. And each level is actually different. Uh, it's laid out roughly the same, but just uh, the textures are different. So. As you can see, we're now in like a space station, but the next round it could be completely different. Let look. Destroy the turrets. And down here is the actual core. It's also at the bottom right hand side of the map. It'll show you coins, and it'll also show you. Corner of the screen, sorry, it will show you the mini map. Three, two, one. So you're probably wondering, should I pick up this game? And my answer is, yeah, you should. You should definitely pick up this game. This game is really, really fun to play. And although it's a little bit on the pricey side, it'll keep you going for hours. And if you get bored of the character rosters that's included in game, there's uh, always the microtransactions in this store which you can purchase extra characters for a little bit of, of cash which, you know, if you're into that kind of thing it's cool but for me I just stick with the characters 
the game itself. This game for me gets a 7.2 out of 10 guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. As always, like, comment and subscribe down below. Check out my written review, that will be in the description and uh, cheers. <laughs>